Hi everybody. So this is the beginning of a three-part series of doing the um, nav strobes for the wingtips. So we haven't really explored the wingtips before. Uh, that's the nice big fiberglass piece that you see on the table. Uh, I'm going with a company called Fly LED. So they are uh, this uh, one-man show out of Australia. A nice man named Paul uh, makes these kits. Uh, they're, well, okay, the, he makes kits. He also makes the fully assembled lights, of course. So the, uh, the board you see in front of me that I'm holding uh, will go on, there's actually two boards, and they go inside that kind of uh, groove that you see in the front of the wingtip, which, of course, will be covered later by uh, Polycarb or Lexan or something. Um, he sells two versions of it, and these, like I said, these are all LEDs, and they're big, bright ass white strobes and red and green nav lights. Uh, he sells two versions. He sells the fully assembled kit and he also sells the do-it-yourself version. As I don't like quick build anything, I decided to go with the do-it-yourself version. So first thing you do is... Now it, so basically it comes with boards and I should get a picture. Unfortunately I can't because I've assembled everything so I can't show you all the parts but uh, comes with uh, four boards, uh, you know, pre-printed out, you know, boards uh, that have to be trimmed. So, um, you know, you, you line up the boards onto the notch in your wingtips, and then you uh, mark them, and then start to sand. I've been using uh, my uh, hand file there. Once you have them the right size, then you can actually start on doing all the soldering which you will see here in a second. So, there's my wife in the background, which I covered up because she didn't like being filmed. So here I am in the comfort of my own home. I got some jazz playing, that's that high pitch frequency whine. I've, I've turned down the volume as always, so you don't have to bother with that. But So the first thing you do on these boards is, uh, you first you do the big white LEDs. So the white LEDs, uh, you have to bend the, some tabs around and make them flat. And then once you bend the tabs uh, so that they lay flat onto the control boards, you apply some nice uh, thermal sealant compound, kind of like the uh, white lithium grease-ish type thing that you used to put on the back of uh, processors back in the 90s when you were you know, making your own laptops, if anyone remembers that. Uh, and then you simply solder them onto the boards on the side. Now the kit's great. The kit comes with all the solder that you need. Big roll of silver solder and it's really good. Uh, the one thing that uh, you do need is just having a regular board. Um, uh, sorry, not regular board. Regular soldering iron w won't, won't do. You know, you, you, the $10 special from Home Depot just won't cut it. You need to have uh, a temperature adjustable soldering iron. So you can get one on Amazon for 30 bucks. Go down to your local hardware store and probably get one for 35 So anyway, yeah, like I said, first thing you do is you put in the white LEDs. Now, here's a little hint, um, something that I didn't ever notice before. So each one of the boards, so there's, there's four boards in to total, uh, and they're two different sizes. One's a little bit larger than the other. Uh, and they have little red or green dots on them. Uh, they come prepackaged that way so that you can just say, oh great, red dots. These are the red, um, and these will go on my left wing. These are the green, these will go on my right. Uh, the boards are identical. It doesn't actually matter which one you do. All that matters is that um, once you that, you, that, they, that all the things go on the correct side, and at the same time that um, you use the right uh, resistors with the right LEDs. So right there you see me soldering on these small LEDs. So you've got three big bright white ones that go into the center and then you have ones that go uh, around the edge. Those are your actual nav LEDs. Oh and they are bright let me tell you. Um, for those again those don't actually go through any Thing, all you, and the, the, the tabs are already pre-bent. The only thing you have to do is make sure that your plus and minus uh, tabs or diodes or anodes 
the plus and minus signs have to go in a very specific order so you just have to watch that uh, if they're as long as they're in the right place and everything is fine and there's my lovely wife getting ready to leave and she's holding my underwear that's not embarrassing anyway gonna continue this in the next video so see you soon